Hi, my name is Elena and you're watching Marvel's Designer Tool by Tool Tutorial Part 17. So let's begin. Today I'm going to talk about this box here. A edit texture, graphic and transform graphic. This exact option, you can also find it on 3D window and they work exactly the same. So how it works. First, I try to explain graphic 2D. I just, I just made up a design, a PNG. It should be a PNG. It works for occasions that you are going to add a logo or a particular uh, design that it's not a repeated one and it's just a design, a shape. So for example, I made it right now five minutes ago. I select it and now on the 2D pattern uh, I have these um, I have these lines that it indicates the distance from top, bottom, left and right. I'm not going to be accurate too much. Since my uh, design was on a uh, a4 was on a A4 A4 paper. I cannot change both width and height. So, for example, if I want it to be 10 centimeter, it's going to be like this. Okay, it's too much small. I don't like it. Let's say. I want it to be 34. Yeah, and something like this appears. If you don't want it, you select transform, transform graphic, right click and delete it. Now on the 3D window, then there's the same process. I select it and I uh, just clicked left click and that's it. and it appears also on your 2d window and for doing every kind of edit you, you, you should use transform graphic if you want it bigger you click on your design and it appears this circle and this circle if I change the color of as you see as soon as you click on your design uh, this circle appears that it lets you to rotate move it and also you can make it bigger or smaller yeah yeah right on the right. right click doesn't work here so that's it this is the 3d window part so I'm going to delete here you don't have so many things important things you can flip it, revert to original size and time, and it's not that much hard, so I delete it. Now, it the texture, edit texture is interesting because it's something for repeated designs, like your fabric texture. First. This one should be white, the color of the base color should be white. And then here you have texture. Let's start from the base part. You select your pattern, or maybe you already know that this fabric is assigned to this pattern. If not, you can assign it by clicking on this icon then 
uh, you click here on the property editor you have texture normal map okay normal map uh, is usual for wrinkles or something that comes out of uh, the fabric it's like a 3d part okay for the texture I select it and this thing have, appears here if you want to just give it some other tint you can do you can choose other colors but the white one is always uh, the basic one that it doesn't affect uh, your original texture the color so if I click on edit texture after assigning a new texture here also here this arrow appears I click on this arrow and it becomes bigger and then if I uh, click left click and drag the tip of this arrow it rotates and it rotates just this fabric not this one because right now these two uh, front and the back of my skirt has this the same fabric so if I click on this and drag my arrow and just this fabric moves and I can move it like this but if I click on it and then here I rotate both of them this part is for all fa all the patterns that have the same fabric so I can make them bigger I can make them smaller oh too much small <laughs> okay I don't know what I did let me see what I did much small so this part is for the you know, for all patterns the same thing works here I can move it as you see just this part moves and so on so that's pretty much it there's nothing else to say and yes i hope you like this video don't forget to like and subscribe and have a nice day bye